mon amour, you said Taiwan a tag question for the people. Hadn't you better ask him before he sleep your mind? Yeah, I suppose. I was waiting till I thought up a funny situation or plot to insert it into. But I don't have any right now. Well, then. What is the question? The other day I was thinking about the house I've lived in all my life, and what I will feel like one day when I move away and live somewhere else. And I thought, how will I feel one day when I come back and see the house? Will I feel sad? What if the house is run down and neglected by whoever lives in it after I am gone? Will I imagine that the house will feel sad? Don't be a silly. House does not have feeling. Well, that is my tag question. Do you ever catch yourself giving human emotions to inanimate objects? I do sometimes. I blame my older brothers and sisters for my doing it. Laugh. We do you blame them for it? Well, when we were kids and we would play with stuffed animals, dolls or whatever. We would make believe that they were alive. We'd give them voices, etc. like most kids do. Somehow I think that transferred to feeling guilty if we mistreated a toy that we'd given a character and personality to. If we threw a doll, someone would say, oh, poor so and so, and make us feel like we'd actually hurt the toy's feelings. I know. But I think a bit of that transference lingers in the mind. I can catch myself feeling sorry for something that actually has no feelings at all. Like a house. Or a car. Whatever. I can catch myself feeling guilty about selling a car I've had a long time. It almost feels like a betrayal or an abandonment of a friend. Even though it's just a car. Stevie, some timid think you are just a bit crazy. Well, I'm glad it's only just a bit. Get away from me, you nutty woman. I keep telling you I am not KFC.